Forwarding plane and packet forwarding engine. The data plane or forwarding plane runs on the packet forwarding engine. Incidentally, some people refer to the forwarding plane as the packet forwarding engine. It can be considered the central processing element that moves packets in and out of the device using ASIC or FPGA specific hardware for moving packets around. So you can think of it as the Metro Transit System component of a Juniper device. When a packet arrives on the router, the packet forwarding engine serves to move those packets back out and quickly. It does this so that it can move on to the next packet, essentially simplifying its job. It's quicker and more efficient that way. The packet forwarding engine uses a locally stored copy of the forwarding table, which is a synchronized copy of the forwarding table from the routing engine. And if it can't move the packet out for any reason, it ships it off to the routing engine and carries on its duties forwarding packets. Packet forwarding engine design. So the packet forwarding engine is architected to do layer two and layer three switching, route lookups, and it's essentially designed to rapidly forward packets. I mean, that's its main goal in life. Major components of the packet forwarding engine include the mid plane or back plane, which is where the line cards plug in. The physical interface cards or PICs are the physical modules that house the interface ports. Each PIC in turn is then plugged into a flexible PIC concentrator or FPC. Well, that's not 100% true. Actually, on some devices, the PICs plug into forwarding engine boards or FEBs. But for now, we'll just talk about the architecture where PICs are plugged into FPCs. The FPCs themselves can house multiple PICs, and FPCs are integral hardware components, really, in that they connect PICs to other components, and they also contain shared memory. Control boards manage communication with the routing engine and the flexible PIC concentrators, or FPCs. So about the packet forwarding engine process. An embedded microkernel in the packet forwarding engine functions as the CPU, if you will. It communicates with the interface process, and this is the interface between it and the routing engine. And it, in turn, directly communicates with the routing engine, or the kernel of the routing engine. It also communicates with the chassis process to control and monitor the functions that are related to the packet forwarding engine process. On the packet forwarding engine is a static, locally stored forwarding table. It gets updated by the routing engine. The packet forwarding engine itself does not manage, nor does it support, dynamic routing protocols. So in this video, you had a look at the packet forwarding engine which is at the heart of the forwarding plane of the Junos operating system.